So if you've seen our videos about the new Bomar nose button, you know this sucker does not slow your bow down at all because even the big guy only weighs 2.2 grains. And if you use a kisser button, you will slow your bow down almost five feet per second. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to use a nose button for a kisser button. Because that's probably one of the most common questions I get is, can I use a nose button and a kisser button together? Well, as luck would have it, and for lucky for you guys, every single pack package purchased comes with a small and a large nose button. So you can actually replace your kisser button with the large or small nose button. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this safe and easy to use as a kisser button. So first things first, you want to install it down around where your kisser button goes. And this, it's pretty tight. So you'll just want to draw back. Let me get an arrow in here real fast. All right, so again, this is my wife's bow, but I'm just using it for demo purposes. So when you get it back, you're going to want to get it about where you can line up the peep and everything else. And once you, once you figure out the exact perfect spot for this, before you tie it in, you're gonna to wanna to do what I'm about to do right now. So you have the spot located, and now you're gonna to wanna to take a lighter and you're just gonna melt the spikes. We designed this out of a very high tensile strength material that will not tear when you tie it on, but it will also melt. So you'll want to do spike by spike. So all you'll do is heat up that and round it off just like that. Heat it up. Doesn't take much and just round it off because your mouth is pretty sensitive. Heat it up. You can see I heated that one up a little extra long. But again, not a big deal. And you could just heat it up, round it off. And it's all personal preference. It's all personal preference on what you, how sharp you want it and all that. But I do not recommend using spikes for, for a kisser button. So just melt them down like this. So then you can see now that's soft all the way around. You have no spikes. So at full draw, now when I anchor, it's soft, comfortable, and it actually feels better than a typical kisser button. Um, now I'm telling you all of this to tell you, guys, if you have a kisser button, replace it with this and your bow will shoot literally five feet per second faster. That's if you're shooting 70 pounds. It may have even more of a dramatic effect for shooting lower poundage bows. So out of every 70 pound bow that we've tested this on, you lose about five feet per second with a 15 grain kisser button, which is a typical weight because you got brass that goes above and, be and below in a huge surface area. The surface area is much smaller with the nose button. And as you guys can see, you can melt this down and it works perfectly and your bow will shoot fast. So then you could also use a nose button up here and align your corner of your mouth with the tip of your nose. And I actually would recommend that if you shoot fixed pins, if you shoot a slider like I do and a lot of you guys do, I recommend just using the nose button up here like that. And that's because as you're adjusting your sight, your anchor point will change the further you are away from the peep. So when that angle gets more and more steep, your face drifts up. So then your, your kisser button is, is down here as your face drifts up. So again, adjustable sights, don't recommend using a kisser button. I recommend just using a nose button. But anyway, I, this video and sole purpose of this video was to show you guys how to make a kisser button out of a nose button. And it's as simple as taking a lighter and gently, it doesn't take a lot, melting each spike down so you don't poke yourself in the corner of the mouth. And uh, it's as simple as that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, Hope you guys are enjoying the nose button. 
I know a lot of you have had nothing but great things to say about it. And uh, for all you Kisser Button users out there, I think this is the, the new thing. So thank you guys.